Hello guys and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. This is Jeremy from Extreme Boomer Super and um, this is kind of a push. I kind of did a push uh, while I was about to go to bed last night and I did not record it because I didn't, I didn't really, I guess I was like tired and I was just laying down. So uh, I just have the replays and I jumped up a little bit. So uh, here's the first attack. Um, so here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Barrage a lot of those mines and boot mines, place down my things, flare, uh, flare to a building, then flare to the HQ. Let's speed this part up when I just take out a building. So I'm going to flare to the cannon, and uh, let's double speed this. And um, they still have a lot of health, and there's not a lot of mines. So I'm going to smoke to the HQ, and I'm going to put down a med kit because I have enough energy to dish out, I think, three shocks while having a med kit. And... This base goes down pretty easy, and yeah, this this one had a decent amount of loot. It had, had um, let's see, um, it had a decent amount of loot, as you can see. Um, here's the next one, had a lot less loot, but I got a crystal on it, so, uh, it was, a uh, I was attacking, this one was like a really easy base. I took out, with a barrage, I got six energy back, so I was pretty happy, because I took out mines and then a couple buildings. That didn't really matter, but I still got energy back. So I have enough for two med kits and three shocks because I didn't use that much smoke. So I put down two med kits after I put down the shocks, and it takes out the base pretty easy. Uh, I don't think I attacked that many HQ 20s, mainly HQ 19s. I've, ever since I upgraded HQ 19, all I've been getting is practically them. So let's go on to the next next battle. It's a level 45, so this one was pretty easy still, and. Barrage the HQ. I, did, I don't really check mine play, uh, mines what level they are, but unfortunately, the shock blaster got a couple shots off at me. But I should be able to have one med kit and three shocks. I only used two, but I used two med kits because the stuff around the HQ wasn't really damaging. The sniper towers couldn't, could, um, they could not one shot them. So, off to the next base. So, it's this one. Here we go. I actually had a fail. I don't, I have to see the, the base. But this one, um, I have to use a lot of smoke. So, it will not, I will not have as much energy. So, I think I use two shocks. Maybe three shocks and maybe no med kits. No, I think I used a med kit. Yeah, I used a med kit, but I might only get two shocks. So... I boosted my gunboat energy, so yeah, I actually got three shocks, so I must have been right on the verge of 43. Uh, I was kind of surprised I got this one down. I had, I lost like, I think 33 warriors out of like the 44 I have. So it was definitely a nail biter to me. So let's go on to the next base. Some Chinese guy attacked me, or Japanese, I don't know. This base, it looks similar to the one I attacked before, so all I have to do is take out most of those mines, flare right to the cannon, put down two smoke, and nothing really hits me that- oh, the shock launcher hit me. But I flared right to the HQ, no time wasted, because I was on a frantic push, shock everything, two medkits, I put the shocks down way early, and that kind of made me lose a couple troops and took longer than I wanted to. Uh, I, I, I think I was distracted there, because I usually- I don't have full focus on Boom Beach unless it's like a really hard base. So let's get on to the next guy that attacked me that was a different. He's still foreign to me. So this guy doesn't really have any good prototypes. He just has a Doom Cannon, which is good against like probably tanks or Scorchers and all that. But I have Warriors. So let's speed this up. And I think we fly right to the HQ. I was trying to decide that. So we do double smoke. Single, single, single. Yeah. So, all I'm going to do is shock the shock launcher, doom cannon, and that. And this one pretty goes, this one goes down pretty easy. The rocket launchers really tore up a few of my troops, so that was kind of a bummer. I've been hovering around 530 medals recently, so, um, yeah. I got one attack, I got two attacks, three attacks actually, because one's a resource base, but... After this one, one is a fail. Let's speed this up. So I flared to the, I yeah that that laser beam I was nervous about, but we flared to the HQ and I shocked the laser beam and everything around it because everything thing seemed the everything seemed dangerous to me, and that one went down fairly fast. So let's get on to the next one. The next one is a fail. It's because I just had bad mine placement. I don't know why. 
Mm. I thought I actually failed. Looks like you can't show you fail. But here's the good one, actually. I lost eight warriors, which is pretty good for being an HQ20 for me. Um, I don't think he had any ice. Yeah, he had two ice statues. But I still took him down with only eight deaths. It, it's his base. It's not a very good base. Went down fairly fat. Well, no wonder why. I was on four times. And now um, for the final attack, it's a resource base. It's only level 39. It was cute. It's a cute little base. It sounds so weird. I actually lost a lot. I just started to, I just did a mass barrage. I thought I could take out all those sniper towers. Turns out I could only take out one or two, actually. So, um, yeah, I kind of failed really bad there. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up and make sure you guys check out the uh, players in the description of two man operations you guys have been loving that anyway uh thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye